What's their connection between class and accent? It's a very close relationship. I mean, uh, we're almost unique in the UK where we have a, a class accent, an, an upper and middle class accent called received pronunciation, which is actually a very young accent in linguistic terms. It's probably only been around about 150, 200 years. And it emerged in the public schools of, of the 19th century and spread from that point. It was adopted by the BBC in 1922 as the broadcast voice uh, of, of English worldwide. I think in Australia the accents are more um, likely to be different because of the class of the people. Um, and if you come from certain areas, maybe in the western suburbs of Sydney and you haven't got any money, you will sound very, um, the word we use is ochre. Um, if you come from the North Shore where everybody has lots of money, your accent will be different and probably a little bit closer to being English. How do you see spoken English changing in the future? Most people would accept that accents will remain. The fact that uh, despite a thousand years of evolution, there is still a big difference between, say, a Yorkshire speaker and a London speaker. Um, in another 100, 200 years' time, I suspect there will still be a large difference because language tends to only to change when people come into face-to-face -face contact with each other.